So I don't know about you, but I can be really good at coming up with excuses when it comes to doing something that I don't want to do. Like cleaning my room, for example. I hate cleaning my room. I never make my bed, and I let piles of clothes like these accumulate all over the floor. And instead of just picking the clothes up and putting them in the basket where they belong, I usually try and come up with some excuses to get me out of cleaning. You know, whether I had a lot of homework that week or picked up some extra shifts at work, I can usually come up with some sort of excuse to get me out of cleaning my room. And unfortunately, I think a lot of us do the same thing when it comes to our tithes. God has given us this awesome opportunity to tithe and to be blessed because of it. But a lot of us miss out because we come up with excuses as to why we should hold on to our money instead of giving that first 10% back to God. You know, whether something came up that you weren't expecting to have to pay for this week, or gas prices went up, whatever it is, I think a lot of us try to excuse holding on to our money instead of giving it back to God. And unfortunately, when we do that, we miss out on this blessing because we come up with excuses. And as hard as it can be to tithe, God understands that because God did tithe. In John 3:16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. What's cool about God is that when he tithes, he didn't even do this whole 10% deal. He didn't have nine other Jesuses sitting up there in heaven with him, making it easier for him to give us Jesus. No, he gave his first fruits for us without excuse. God didn't just ask us to tithe, he showed us how to tithe, and he showed us how to tithe without coming up with excuses, no matter how difficult it can be. And so I encourage you, next time you go to tithe, put those excuses to the side. Embrace this opportunity that God has given us to give and to be blessed because of it. And look forward to how God is going to bless your faithfulness.